All right, hey, you guys. I'm not going to hold you guys too long. Um, I'm just going to give you this word that God gave me while I was literally in the middle of, like, limbo. I call it limbo, like, that that moment, like, when you're in and out, halfway in and out of sleep. But basically, I had my eyes closed. And, y'all, this is very strange, but I know this is for somebody. I was trying to go to sleep, and I had this vision of this woman trying to push out a baby. The woman was me. Like, I saw myself. But the, the I was trying to push out this baby, and the baby was not coming out. It, it, it didn't budge. And so I remember I was pushing, I was pushing, and I was pushing so much so and I had a helper I don't know who that person was but they were sitting in front of me I guess like in the dream it was like my husband or whatever obviously but this baby would not come out and so I said I said you know what and I literally opened myself up literally this is a little graphic I opened myself up and I said get it out of me just pull it out I'm this needs to come out now like it needs to come out like it's 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 not it forget premature this baby has been here too long it's over baked it's burnt like get this child out of me so I literally opened myself and um was like pull it get it out of me like get it out and I was so adamant about getting this child out of me now we know that when God talks about rebirth the new birth and newborn babies when you have dreams about that that it means like he's birthing something new in you like whether it's a promise a job a business a marriage or whatever it is but God wanted me to say this for the people who are in the same position or situation or spot in their walk as I am this is not for everybody so before I get into the interpretation of this I need you to understand this word is not for everybody take it back to the Lord before I continue and the word that God gave me connected to this is by any means necessary you are ready right you have had the season where you were afraid of what god was going to birth through you you were afraid of the career god chose for you chose for you you were afraid of the new but at this point you are so sick of being pregnant with this thing whatever it is for you a job a marriage um a business whatever it is a home a family or a real child i mean whatever it is you are so sick of being pregnant with this thing right because of fear holding this baby in because of fear that you have not only postponed your destiny and you have delayed your destiny it's at a point now where by any means necessary you are going to birth this thing and i don't really know what god wants me to where god wants me to go from here but what god is saying is by any means necessary you are in the in a point where you feel like it's by any means necessary and god is saying that's exactly where you need to be at that's the sweet spot you found the sweet spot so stay in that spot and continue to push because now let me tell you something because you waited and you delayed me included the baby is bigger so now the baby's good it's gonna it's gonna be a little harder to push this baby out and get this baby out of you but that's fine because it's gonna come out regardless because of your dedication you've been praying for dedication you've been praying for god to give you a drive and give you motivation to do these things and, and to walk in what he called you to walk into he says here it is he says now what are you going to do with it what are you going to do with the motivation don't just say what you're going to do don't just think about what you're going to do don't just dream about what you're going to do you need to do it you're ready to pop and if you don't push this baby out you have a fear of destroying killing both your promise and you that's not dangerous i mean that's not safe it's very dangerous for you to hold in a child longer than what its due date is there's a reason why there are due dates on certain things so god is saying like i need you to push and i need you to stay in that sweet spot because this baby needs to come out this thing that i'm birthing on um from the inside of you it needs to come out we they need your voice they 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 need that master class they need that song they need that um the, the fashion they need those ideas they need your skills they need you so you need to start moving like they need you honey they need you there are people who are connected to your purpose that you are in charge of saving that you are in charge of delivering from their situation so the longer that you sit here and you wait and you hold this baby in this child in, metaphorically speaking the longer that you hold your purpose back and the longer that you sit on it um, um, um the bigger this thing becomes and the harder it's going to be to push this thing out of you and to produce this thing and birth this thing god says you need to get on it now he says don't go backwards you don't have time to go backwards even if you wanted to go backwards god is going to make sure that the job gets done even if you don't want to be obedient god is going to make sure that this thing is birth you know what happens when a mama pushes out a baby that's too big sometimes sometimes you it, you're done you understand so even if it means to get rid of you and to do that thing through another person he will do so so i hope this word touched you i hope that it hit you in everywhere that it was supposed to i hope that it convicted you because you need a conviction in order to change is you know there's enough of this soft little gospel that people are speaking to y'all and making y'all feel oh okay yeah i'm happy yeah i'm getting this new car but are you willing to do and, and sacrifice the things and um, um 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 let go of certain things in order for you to get there it, yes prosperity is great but there are some things that are in you that need to come up out of you in order to receive what god wants you to receive in order to receive what you've been praying for 
you prayed for it now make room for it right some of y'all didn't even make room for it yet and god is like this thing is at your door so you don't even have time to clean up no more so it's just going to be squished and what i see is you've been pregnant with this promise for so long that the child the 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 promise is packed like it's compacted in you it's it's too full there is no room and you what you don't want is to pray for abundance but you don't have any hands to hold the abundance when it comes to you because what happens if you don't have any hands to hold it you will drop it and it will fail and you know the the very blessing that it took you so long to pray for and fast for you've been fasting and praying but you haven't been obedient obedience is better than sacrifice you've been sacrificing time music money clothes sex um you've been sacrificing food but you have not been obedient it's time honey it's time so that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching. I love you so much and God loves you so much more. Educate so that we don't generate more lost generations. If you would like me as your mentor, check my bio and my the link is in my description to my website. And so is my social medias. And with that being said, toodles. You better push that baby out.